Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another fave at five. So I picked this little beauty up from Blessings Abound in Overland Park, Kansas. It was only $3 and I knew that I could give this little planter box new life. So I'm taking beadboard by DIY Paints and I'm going to give this a nice rustic paint job. I am not trying to coat the entire thing. This was definitely handmade, which I thought was even cooler. Um, I'm going to take Celery by Waverly and I am going to use that paint color to do the outside of the little house up top and then also the little band that is going to go around. Do you see that around the, um, the planter box part? I'm a mess, you guys. All right, so after we're done with that, I am going to take some floral foam. I really prefer the green floral foam. I just think it's so much easier to work with and like move your flowers in and out if you're unsure where you want to place them versus the white foam. But to each their own, you do you. Um, so after that, I'm going to take, and sorry for like the angle, but it's, I have to be looking at it while I'm doing it. You know, I'm going to grab some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. And this is my favorite filler. I don't care how messy it is. Once it's in there, I mean, it's good to go. So I'm going to cover the bottom with that. Now I'm taking these gorgeous flowers. These are from Dollar, well, some of them are from Dollar Tree. And then the pack of the lavender, that's actually from Amazon. And that is in my Amazon store link for y'all. It is gorgeous lavender. So I am going to put these around, play around with the placement, and I really want to fill, like pack this box with as much florals as I can. I am loving the color combo of like the frosted lamb's ear with that yellow and then the lavender. Now I'm taking just a little bunch of the Spanish moss and I'm going to create a little nest inside there. I'm gonna glue that down and then off camera, I um, stick a little wreath, you'll see it later, from um, Hobby Lobby in there. I'm gonna take this bird that I made out of a clay mold and we are gonna paint this with, I think it's Maisie by Waverly. It's a very bright, beautiful yellow. Sorry, my dog's barking. And then I white waxed. <laughs> Can you tell the kids are home? Um, and see the little wreath? I got those from Hobby Lobby and I just pushed that in there. Like that, that little sucker isn't going nowhere. And then these little um, glass, their actual glass eggs came from a thrifted like piece that I used and they fit perfectly in there. Like talk about finding the right size for the right decor kind of thing. It was perfect. And then I'm going to adhere our little bird in there as well. And this is another piece you guys that I have at the booth that I will be putting on my website for sale. You know what? I'm just going to put it on my website right now and then I'll go pick it up. Okay. And look at how beautiful this turned out. It is so vibrant, so ready for spring and all the little details, the glass egg, the bird, and then these beautiful arrangements of flowers. It's beautiful. And I hope it inspired you to start crafting for spring.